Hello there, and welcome to some humankind. Got a little intro video to watch first. Hello and welcome to Humankind's Victor Open Dev. My name is Will. I'm the lead game designer on Humankind. Thank you for joining us on our continuing 10-year journey of co-creation and co-development with our community. Humankind is all about creating your own unique civilization by combining together cultures over the course of human history. This Open Dev scenario was designed by the dev team with a whole new map and will offer many more opportunities for naval gameplay. The goal is to gather feedback on specific features that we have tweaked according to your comments on the previous Open Dev. Obviously, there is a lot more to humankind than what you will be seeing here, so please note that this scenario does not represent the final game's content or quality. We are still working on it. For this Victor Open Dev, you will start in the Neolithic era you'll be able to play through the first four ages, offering more than 10,000 possible culture combinations to create your own unique civilization. You can play the scenario as often as you like until May 3rd. We encourage you to try lots of different combinations and see how much fame you can score. When you finish playing the scenario, we'll ask you to fill out a survey that we've put together, which will be used by the dev team so you can help us make humankind the best historical strategy game it can be. We're looking forward to hearing from you, and we hope that you enjoy playing the game. I hope so too. There was something I noticed during that intro cinematic. Um, there was a cavalry unit that went up a cliff. Like, just straight up went up the cliff. They didn't go around it to go up some kind of hill. They straight up, like, scaled a cliff. That's new. That's very new. Uh, so, we could play uh, with, of course, the influencers that I unlocked in the previous uh, Humankind Open Dev. Uh, but there are also, there are some more influencers that you can uh, unlock. We've got Gamer Zach, we've got, uh, I'm gonna butcher, I'm gonna pronounce this perfectly first time. Ewer du Grenier, nailed it. And we've also got Marbazir. AI difficulty. I remember the last time we did an Open Dev, I, I didn't change the difficulty at all and so it was really easy so I'm gonna go Empire this time we're gonna give ourselves a bit of a challenge uh, and as for the AI I think you know keeping the AI as as the influencers seems like a good idea I wouldn't mind changing Kieta to uh, Lucy but uh, unfortunately that's not an option um, Kieta is I think is one of the just an AI generated one it's not an influencer so yeah uh, that's all that done. This is Victor. I don't know who Victor is, but, um, yeah, it should be good. I've also got Cat and Ninetales in chat, who is one of the lovely people uh, responsible for humankind. So, uh, if I struggle or get lost anywhere, I'm sure he can, uh, help me out there. Uh, he's also very, very, uh, happy about my perfect pronunciation of that French name. It's just... He's so impressed. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, let's get into this. We've got a fantastic beard. Let's do it. I'm surprised to not see Victor in this, because if I remember rightly, um, this lady, uh, her face... Oh, well, we're in now. But her face was changed um, for the Lucy open dev, to change it into Lucy. Anyway, we start with some hunting party. Uh, I don't think I need some tutorials because I've played before um, right we start with the hunting party I, I, I understand I understand thank you can I just like turn off the help I just want to turn off the help I like narrator narrator's fun tutorials off thank you tutorial level I mean none but sure you don't need a tutorial you got me all right so we start off with a hunting party, this is our only unit um, that we can grow new hunting parties by getting food. We can see there's food here on um, in this this food discovery. And once we get to 20, we gain an extra food person. Oh, we can go down here, get some food from this one as well. There's also uh, sanctuaries. If we destroy sanctuaries, we get, uh, I believe we get food from it. Or it might be gold. 
um, in the Neolithic era. Uh, we could also kill this lovely deer here for uh, quite a bit of food as well. But I think we're going to save murder until we have probably two hunting parties. That seems like a, a better idea to me. Once we gain enough of a... Uh, enough food, we can go to the next era. So we need uh, three stars to... Uh, sorry, is it three stars? Yeah, three stars to get to the next era, I think. Uh, we've got the growth star, five population, that's what we need. Uh, we've got the knowledge star there, we've got the hunter star. The hunter star is going to be easier to get to, I think, than Knowledge Star. Knowledge Star is really difficult. You have to go find curiosities and get science from it, and that takes a lot of exploration. I think what we're going to do first, though, is go grab this food. Got us half the way to getting a new unit. We could... I mean, we've got the hill advantage. We could go and kill you. Screw it, we're going to go kill you. Confirm battle, and I'm going to make it so that I am... That's not in the deployment zone, no. But if I go here... We can then move up here if he wants to come and attack me. Or we can just stay here and let him attack me. Oh, he's coming on even ground. Makes sense. He's still hurting more than I am, though. So we will uh, attack him again, yeah. and we'll kill him next turn. When you attack me, you die. Might have actually been smarter to move up here, although he'd probably have moved next to us. Either way, we gain five food and five culture, that is? Influence. Influence, that's the one. And we win. Huzzah. Probably need to get some uh, some health back. Uh, out of turn, I'm oh, sorry, out of movement. So that'll be the end of our turn. World deed unlocked. What world deed did you just get? They found the Danaki Desert. Okay, so that's like a wonder that is on the map. Would you call it a wonder? I don't know if you call it a wonder, but it's on the map. It's a it's a it's a great area of of repute. So, I am going to be really mean, and I'm going to ransack the sanctuary for 20 extra food. Fantastic. Pretty sure in later eras you do get gold for those things. Uh, so yeah, that's end turn. And now we have two hunters, because we've uh, gotten enough food. We only need five more food, and we can get a third. I think what I want to do is move up this way. Ooh, found some knowledge. Good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, that's us out of movement. We found some ebony there. Five swilly per ebony in all cities. Nice. We also found the sage here, giving some similar benefit. Alright, nowhere else I can move. What I could do, though, is next turn, I guess. I could split these in half uh, and have them both exploring in different directions. I think I might do that. So we're going to have you go to the river. That's that's not what I wanted. Did we run out of moving points because I moved onto the river? I think I did. Well, shit. Oh well. Next turn we'll do it. Alright, end turn. Right. So, I would like to select just you. Yes, and now you're moving off that. So you can go and get that curiosity for me. Ancient equipment. Nice. What did that give me? Is it just science? I think it is just science. Found two curiosities now, two knowledge stars. Alright, can you move any further? No, you're out of movement this turn. However, you are able to get to that food and get you to three units. And you, I'm going to have go up this hill. And up that hill, too. Some horses down there. I like that. And next turn, maybe we can go and attack you. 
Right. You're out of movement. You're out of movement. You're out of... Well, you've got one bit of movement. Actually, you've got one bit of movement as well. Where would I want you to go? I actually think maybe I'll get you back on the river and we can get you down here. Getting onto the river is... It takes a lot of movement, but once you're on there, you can move nicely. So, with that done, let us end turn again. Is it best to create an outpost early or wait until you advance into the era? I don't really know if I can say what is best at this stage. Uh, I am not... I think when it comes to strategy, that's something I, I think is going to be discovered later on. I like finding where I want to put down my roots first. So, like, for instance, we found a few regions here. I like the look of this place because we've got copper, which is going to be very important for the later eras. Horses, very important for later eras. And this looks... Yeah, it's okay. Um, so I'm liking this area, but I don't know if this is... You know, where the best place for my city would be. So I don't know really if I should be putting down outposts just yet. Um, right, with you, we can send you down the river. I'll just send you to there. We're going to be pushing you down this way. You, my lad, are going to be going up here. And I suppose you can have a fight. Forward! Oh, yeah, if we just, like... Oh, yes. Confirm the battle, and I definitely do want to have you deployed up there, because if you want to come and attack me, it's going to be painful for you, so. Uh, I'm going to end my round. Is he coming to come for me? No, he's just waiting. Damn it. We move. Oh, he is coming to attack me. Haha! -ha! But we're up on a hill, so it's fine. <laughs> Deer is too smart, clearly. No. Alright, my turn. Yeah, we'll Together. kick the crap out of him. I guess scouting could be better than gathering resources early. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, I don't know if I'm right in thinking that is better yet. I don't have all the answers just yet. Um, but yeah, that's another lovely horsey fella dead. We could go down and get some food. Or we could go up and get that science. I'm thinking we go down first. And then we go back up again. Uh, you're out of movement. You're out of movement. You're out of movement. Everyone is done. Let's end the turn. Is it my turn again? I forget just how quick the uh, end turns are. That's my bad. Alright, so grab that food. And we're halfway to getting some uh, extra tribesmen here. Uh, you're going to continue sailing down this river. I would... Oh, found another curiosity. Didn't even see it. Love it. You are going to go and kill this deer. Confirm the battle. He's going to just sit here. I'm going to move back because I do not want to be... I don't want to be trying to, you know, swim uphill. That would be bad. I'm just going to end the round. You can come to me. Yeah, nah, you're you're done for, mate. That was that was weak. Can't do that. Yes, you can. Charge! He's going to attack me again and lose. Oh, flank! That's yeah, not going to do anything for you. Alright, and finish him off. That does get us uh, our th uh, Hunter Star. Hunter total of three animal units, and we've done it all. Victory! And we could enter a new era, or we could go further and get a little bit more influence. Let's remind me later, just for right now, because I think I can get more units. I think getting as many units as possible is going to be good for us. 
because that way we can disband those units in our new city and immediately get a bit of a population boost. They're all out of movement. You're out of movement. Send a turn. The more units we have, the, uh, the stronger we'll be when we jump into the new era. You can go and grab that food. And can you... Uh, yeah, just go up there then. Oh! We found Mount Roraima. Nice. That's up here. That's beautiful. Look at that. Where is that in the world? What am I knowing? I also, I'm pretty sure I got another world deed. Um, that's not what I wanted to look at. Where do I see my world deeds again? Could have sworn it was in here. Uh, but like, before that. There it is. My world deeds. Here we go. We've just found the one world deed. Wonderful Mount Rorima. Somebody else has found the Danakil Desert. Uh, I think that is everything so far. I swear I found something else. It was a, a river. It was the wonderful something a doodad river. But I don't see it on the map, so maybe not. Anyway, uh, you're out of movement. You've got movement. Uh, we're going to send you... Do I want to go down the coast or want to go up the mountain? Let's go up the mountain. Some more food there. You're on 17 out of 20. If we just get a little bit more food, that'll be good. And then we've got you who can go and grab this science. Yeah, getting the knowledge star is... I think the hardest of these... Um, these things to get. Oh, we found another sanctuary. Uh, can we burn it this turn? Yes. That's going to get us some more... Okay, I think this is it, right? Because you're going to give me 20. That's going to give me a pop uh, and then 10. Then we go here, get the 10 here, and that's another dude. That gives us two. Yeah, next turn we are going to be good to go. I like it. Next turn, we go to the next era. Ransack successful. That gives us two pops. Let's go grab We're that going. food. Oh, it's only five. I thought it was ten. Damn it. Well, <laughs> balls. <laughs> My bad. I thought I was being so smart. What's over there? No, 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 no. I probably should have got that food. Uh, and you, you're at 17 out of 20. Can you get there? No. Could get there next turn. Another sanctuary and another knowledge star. Well, we'll grab that. This is... something? What is that? A known strategic resource. That's new. They never used to tell us that. we got obsidian there and marble as well. Next turn, if you burn that down, we're going to be good. Uh, you're both out of movement as well. Okie dokie. In the small experience I've had, I'm led to believe the best way to spend the Neolithic era is to abuse the tribe growth mechanics to get as many units as possible, so you have a higher population when you progress. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Why this way? Oh, we've also found Lake Baikal. Very nice. And where is this one as well? Apparently the um, the mountain here, which I've already forgotten the name of, um, is in South America. The Nord Star is the hardest, but has perhaps the best long-term benefit. It gives you a legacy trait. Oh, I did not know that. In the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts... Up into clear blue skies, fire, calling a few tries when you run close up, the smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of these structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You are about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil when you see short shadowed figures running away. Youths. They could become part of your tribe if you give chase now, but that would mean losing these secrets of construction. 
I wouldn't mind spawning army new my new army in hunting party. That does get us to the higher thing. But then changing one tech of research or getting an extra pop. I think I think the pop is worth more, to be perfectly honest. And now we have the growth star. Huzzah. Uh I kinda wanna go for the knowledge star now, if I'm being honest. Getting that legacy point is is huge. Let's see if we can't grab it. So Oh really? You can't go past there? Uh you can, it'll take you two turns. That's also gonna take you two turns. We're going. I kinda wanna just go burn down that sanctuary. Next turn you'll be good. The three dudes up here, I feel like that's far too many. One of them should have been up here. Um, I kind of really want that knowledge star, honestly. I think the unknown resources are specific for later eras. Yeah, like, it could be oil, it could be coal, it could be... I think iron is also hidden until later eras as well. So, it could be any of those. So, you've got an extra dude. Oh, we could go kill you. And that would also give us uh, an extra tribesman. Come on, attack me. Oh, you're just gonna run away? Nope, you're just gonna die. Victory for me. Okay, so now you've got three. Uh, your movement is going to be first to there. As the eagle flies. Any vision on anything? Another sanctuary, but... Nature forbids us. You're all out of movement. Acknowledged. Looks like going this way was a mistake, perhaps. This way. What do you see? More food? Uh, if I take that food, that's an extra hunter. Or an extra population. And you've got very little movement. Okay. I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the knowledge stuff. That's the plan. It's interesting, I don't think they changed the combat that much, but it feels a lot better than it did the last open dev. Um, I guess I'll have to wait and experience a bit more of it before I can make that call. Ooh, somebody's there. Interesting. I think I want to split you up. As the eagle flies. This way. Unknown strategic resource there. I think I'll have one of you go down south down here. That's definitely not what I wanted. As the eagle flies. Where do you want to go then? You're probably going to go up. Th wow, that is a long distance. How, how can you? How do you have six running points? Did you level up? No, he's still on zero um, leveled. I don't know how he has six movement. Um, how does he have six movement? Tribes just have six movement? Or he's only got four. He's only got four. Oh, wait, no, he's got the status of Swift. I didn't see that. Yeah, no, he's got it. I'm not sure how he got that, but he's got it. And that makes him really freaking fast. We worked a lot on the fluidity of the animations, made some tweaks to the balance, lower combat strength doesn't reduce max damage. Okay. Uh, so you can always get a lucky hit on a strong enemy. Added some unit classes and improved reinforcement UI. That's cool. Maybe he should have been going down south.
he's gonna come up here. The fight is on even ground. Yeah, the AI is relatively smart as well. Like they know how to how to move. Forget that. I don't want to forget that. I want to try attacking. Now he's gonna attack me and die. Good stuff. So you're at 17 food. Next turn you can march north a bit. Uh, out of f uh, everyone's out of food there. Okay. You go and grab another guy. What is that? That looks like a funky place. Some more food there, sure. That's a lair. Uh, I think I might find a, a bear or a mammoth here, perhaps. And then the final idle army. You're completely useless. You're in the wrong place entirely. I want you to go that way. Okie dokie. We have devs in chat. We do indeed. Actually, you know what I should be doing is I should be IP. Uh, look. Okay, now deals. There we go. Lovely. Um, not if you have movement anymore. I guess that's another end turn. Probably our uh, the most relevant unit class change for our dear Lambert is that hoplites or hoplites uh, now get a bonus against cavalry for wielding spears. Yeah, no, that's welcome. Very welcome, indeed. Not a whole lot of knowledge around here. A. Yeah. So now we're on 7 out of 10. Uh, how about you go burn down the lair? Over here. Later we rest. Yeah, this you can go that way. You can go and burn down that. Some more food there. Probably could have got that. Some more food there as well. Uh you're gonna get that next turn. You are gonna just move slowly. There is some knowledge. Two more, one, two. I like. I like to see it. I don't care if you want me. Don't want me in your land. I'm walking through it. And yeah, end turn again. Someone's chosen the Egyptians. That's fine. I wasn't planning on going for the Egyptians anyway. I actually don't know what I'm going to go for. What's over there? Don't know yet. We'll find out. Uh, I don't want to be fighting you. Thank you kindly. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, retreat. Thank you. I don't want to be fighting there. Wow, you are retreating very far. How about we just merge together? Apes together strong and all that. We're going. You are now up to three. Oh, we got such population. Eleven out of five. You, you love to see it. You straight up love to see it. Um, over here. You can grab that food. We found somebody else as well. This, way. this is... I do not recognize you. Just a, just a bear. Straight up a bear. 10 out of 20. Alright. You know what? I am honestly kind of good to go. 9 out of 10. Next turn we get 10 out of 10. Boom. Next era. Might be a fight here. Nope, he doesn't want to fight us. Good. 
smart. All right. And then we have our Nords, Knowledge Star. Sick. All three stars have been attained. You love to see it. Let's get into the next era. So, naturally, we are going to be looking at... Uh, I thought you could see what you'd look like. Just just a quick quick second, a hot second. I'm just going to save the game right now. Uh, nomad. End. I'm just going to save the game right there so I can have a look. So, if I click this, do I get an extra... Oh, okay, now we can cancel. So this is what we'd look... We'd look, we'd look, pretty, we'd look pretty good. That, that doesn't look bad at all. And, uh, you know, aesthetics are all important. Uh, this is a science-based civilization. We'd also get the Sabu Sakasti. Um, they are anti-cav. They're better when standing on a friendly district. We do need bronze working, and I imagine the copper resource to use them, though. Um, we could not go for the Egyptians, because they're already done. Uh, the Assyrians have already been chosen as well. The Zhu, we could go for as well. I like the armor, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. They're a very stability-based empire, it seems. Bit of science as well, and they have the Zanshi, which is a horse-toed vehicle. Uh, I guess a chariot, then. Um, their heavy cavalry, uh, bonus combat strength when stability is high. Um... Oh, wow, we only have three options. Babylonians, Phoenicians, and Zhu. Uh, the Phoenicians, cool. Uh, very good at money. They do like their money, and also their ships, which is interesting, because this open dev is supposed to be very much... Um, it is very much a naval-based open dev, from what I've heard. So that is tempting. That is tempting. Hmm. I'm mostly tempted by the Babylonians, though, if I'm being honest. I think, uh, yeah, I've not used the Babylonians before. I used the Phoenicians the last time I played. I think we're going to go Babylon. Plus, we look just absolutely delightful. So, uh, yeah. We are Babylonian. I think, at the end of the turn, perhaps. Must be at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, I would also like it if at least one of you were to create a an outpost here. I would like to claim the territory of six and five, three and seven, ten and two is tempting. Seven and six is good. Eight and seven is even better. Yeah, that's what I want. You're going to go claim that. I did actually want you to go out, because I want to claim someone over here as well. Um, do I want this? We've got salt. Mm, it's not exactly the most tempting. Um, the salt here as well. This I want. This, this is absolutely essential that we take here. Um, this as well. I want this. I want this. I want this. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah. This one has salt and the copper. So I want this. So you're going to start this way. moving a little bit up. You know what? You can start... Exploring a bit north as well. Why not? Okay. Over here, I think I want to start retreating. I don't want to lose these units. Oh, apparently we've got some food there as well. And an extra unit. You love to see it. You straight up love to see it. Alright, let's end the turn. And we are going to be Babylonian. Just say it like it is. I want all of these lands. I mean, 
Ah, the challenges yeah? of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Alright, we are no longer in the Neolithic, we are an ancient empire. So we've got an, an agrarian star. What is that? Our oh, 20 population. <laughs> Uh, we're almost there. We have 13. We got we got the first one, which I assume is 10. Which is quite delightful. Uh, in the Nomadic Era, we got all of the stars possible. Um, sorry, the Neolithic, I should say. And there's 21 stars to achieve in the Ancient Era. Um, good stuff. Collect 7 stars by fulfilling goals. Is this what we need? Yeah, we need 7 stars to get to the next Era. Um... But there are 21 available, so we'll see where we go. Right. You, my good sir. You know what, I'm going to split you in half. You. Go claim that. Oh yeah, now this is Babylon. Balls. I kind of wanted Babylon over here. It's probably fine. And then if I disband you, I think I have to do it next turn. Maybe I could disband you. How do I do that again? Disband units. Disband units within the limits of your cities or outposts will grant one population to it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Can I do it with you? Oh, I can. You have no movement, but you can be murdered. For the glory of Babylon. Sweet. I could just immediately choose a religion. Um, polytheism or shamanism? We're going to go polytheism because it's ba Babylon, of course. Um, so we now have a religion. And, God, you know what? I kind of want that extra pop. I just, I straight up think, you know, just pop boosting in Babylon is going to be kind of important. There's already two population. It's still only an outpost. It's not even created yet. Um, you are going to come down here. Oh, there's a bloody mammoth. Yeah, I do not want to be messing around with you, my dude. Let's explore a little bit here. Sage isn't bad. There's horses and sage. He's still chasing me. Not a fan of that. Can't really run too far, though. Uh, so, how about... You jump in there. We can only have four in a unit anyway. You can start running away. What I'm saying is, I'm getting a bit of um, stuttering now. I'm not sure what that is. It isn't Babylon, it's just Babylonians. But it will be my first city, so it will turn into Babylon, I believe. Uh, you... Oh, who are you? We have found... A thousand welcomes! I am the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. Well, I know that the Harapans are incredibly warlike, uh, super aggressive... Love a bit of the old conquering. Yeah, that that's uh that's what they're like, right? Um maybe for me. Um uh, so I'll introduce myself. Surprise what? No. Um I I don't really want to be either allied or uh at war with you. I just I think just chilling. We could have a treaty of we could trade some luxuries. I don't have any luxuries, but we can trade them. The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? Hear my proposal. Sweet. This will be a blessing for all parties. Oh, I still need to I click accept. a button to make it my first city. You are the pride of your empire. Gotcha. 
All right, so we found found their fella Q. Uh, we've also got these guys. Oh. From my people, and from myself, heartfelt greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world. So we found Spiff. Uh, he's very militaristic. Uh, I'm going to trade. No treaties. I'm going to do more treaties. Treaties with everyone. Actually, can you share my apps? The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? Hear my proposal. He's gonna say, he's I no. cannot accept this as is, but a modest contribution might change my mind. What kind of contribution? Oh, 30 gold? Do I even have 30 gold? Understood. No, I don't. I have Despite none gold. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. The first hmm. thing Spiff does is want the money. Yeah, no, it makes So I see. It's very on brand. It's very, very on brand. Uh, and we've also found... It is my great honor, as the leader of a great people, to greet you in their name. Q? Uh, and what are you? The, you're the Olmex. Apparently there's a crisis. Claimed a territory on our border. Yeah, well, maybe you, you claimed it and it's my border, you know? Just, just saying, maybe it's all on you. I do want to get out of your territory, though, otherwise I, I do fear there is going to be retribution. Are you like the diplomacy screen? Yeah, it's it's cool. It's good. It's good diplomacy. The diplomacy system in this game is pretty cool. Alright, so we've claimed that. We're going to go claim that one. We're going to claim that one. That one. Possibly that one. We're going to have a huge empire! Um, this one, it's got horses. And it's got a lovely choke point in the north. But I think we'll leave it for now. Let's end the turn. I'm also... Not sure why I'm getting such... Um, problems with frame right now. Sometimes this helps. It's not It's not frame rate. It's um, The game was hanging sometimes. Like there. Bit of a stutteringness. I'm not sure what that is. Bakedu will enter the sphere of influence of the Harapans. Where's Bakedu? Is this Bakedu? Yeah, it is. Balls. That's not good. Not a fan. Not sure what I can really do about that either. Okay. Well, I want this area, so let's found an outpost. Four, twelve. Ooh, hello there. Twelve and fifteen sounds actually kind of delightful. So next turn, you're gonna go found that. You're gonna continue. I guess it's just trying to get south. You guys also start running this way. Yeah, I'm not sure what that stuttering is all about. Except this this proposition should be in all our best interests. Yeah, sure. Wait, if I count on that and ask for 30 gold, can we I then have the think, share maps? Though I am inclined to say yes. There was, what, 50 out of 100? Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Please to accept your proposal, friend. I think that this calls for a celebration. Yeah. Tea. Let's have some tea. Come. Both our peoples need them. And you also this want will be the luxuries. Blessing. That's fine by me. We really do not have a lot of movement, do we? It's a weird-looking Nubian. I, I, yeah, I mean, they don't, I don't know if they're uh, entirely... Um, they had top hats in the ancient era, but it's fine.
So you're going to make a thing next turn. Hey, Nestlark, thank you very much for the Prime. Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Hey, Toadie. Right. So, you are going to go... I'm just going to force you to do it. You're going to build that there. It's going to be done in only two turns this time. Because it's so populous, I think. You're going to get onto that river so you can keep moving south. Three turns until you're created. Um, there's a sanctuary there. I'm not too worried about it. Just want to keep running these guys south. There do be a deer in the way. Just in some battle resolution. Uh, we're we crushed it. That's fine. Oh, you you can't move past him. Damn it! All right, fine. Keeping an eye. Um, he's still chasing after me. How very rude. And you're hemming me in as well. That is just so mean. I guess you're staying there for a turn as well. Played some 30 turns of this yesterday. How did you find it? Spish po Spiff's posh Britishness transcends the puny boundaries of time and space. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that tracks. That tracks. I was going to play, but I forgot to have to disable my flight stick. The game reads it as a controller and scrolls down indefinitely because there isn't a disable gamepad option. Uh, you might be able to disable the gamepad in Steam itself. I think that is an ability that is a thing. Uh, you are also going to be disbanding yourself. We're going to have one guy... I also wanted this one and this one. Uh, I think you can go down as far as you can. You guys can now move as far as you can. I think it is a case of just when I move the map fast, then we're getting that stuttering. It only happened when we went into the Ancient Era. I'm not sure what the deal is, but no. hopefully it stops soon. Off we go. I don't want to fight you, I just want you to leave me alone, Spiff. Please, please, Spiff, please, leave me alone. I uh, can't spot any differences from the last build quite yet, other than the map, so I guess that's for later. Cat uh, did say, if I scroll up, I can repeat what he said. Um, Hoplites now get a bonus against cavalry for wielding spears. That's nice. Where is it here? Worked a lot on the fluidity of the animations, made some tweaks to balance. Um, so lower combat strength doesn't reduce max damage, so you can always get a lucky hit on a strong enemy. And added some unit classes and improved reinforcement UI is uh, the main changes. Right. You want to fight him. I kind of want to burn down your house. Just, just saying. Um, you guys still want to be running this way. You want to be going over here. You want to be... Cause I want to build it around here. I guess this will be the fastest way to go up. You disband as well. One turn, you'll be created. He's already got two out of four population. Liking it, liking it. Um, I think I said I did want this, didn't I? And we do have enough influence. We did find quite a lot of influence in the Neolithic era. We don't have any research um, generation yet, so that's why I haven't chosen anything here yet. But, I think what I'd want... I don't have horses yet, do I? No, I need to... I need to claim... 
Maybe either this? Or maybe I do need this, just for the horses, purely for that. 